Hello, in this section we're going to continue talking about graphs and we're going to also move into the topic of tables and uh, I think you'll understand quickly where we're going with that once we get there so I'll just jump right on in. The first topic I want to talk about is uh, when we're doing our graphing, the way I taught you to do it is to go and put your functions that you want to graph in the y equals guy here, put all the functions that you want and then you can jump over to the graph button and you can see the graph. So let's pick a really simple one. Let's say y is equal to x squared. Of course you could have a very complicated function here if you wanted to graph it. It would just take a little bit longer to graph. You jump over to graph, it goes to the standard zoom and you see your function here. So this is this is really useful. Now the calculator does have a really cool mode that's, that is very useful and um, it basically lets you see the equations that you have in a split screen along with the graphs. So that's really useful if you're if you need to change an equation. Like let's say you're going to go, okay, what if not x squared? What if it's x squared minus one? What does that look like? Well, then you have to flip back over to the graph mode, let it regraph the function, and you'll see it in in the new location. Um, but if you want to see these two pages at the same time, all you need to do is go into the mode menu, and go down here. Right now it says full, so that means full screen. Everything is full screen, and so let's go over to horizontal, which is this guy right here. So hit enter to make that active, and now go back to y equals, and you will see that no matter if you press y equals or if you press the graph button, that you're in a split screen mode. And it shows you the first three uh, equations that you have, and of course you can scroll down and get to the other, um, the other equations that you can put in here and functions that you can plot. And the... Um, uh, the, uh, the graph is located above. Now if you wanted to make a neat change, like let's say instead of x squared minus 1, what if you wanted to make it x cubed minus 1? So you can do all of this without being in split screen mode, but the nice thing is you can see it right here as you do it. So what you need to do to actually cause it to regraph it again is to go hit the graph button, but you're going to stay in split screen mode and you can see that this equation is now plotted. And of course I could put uh, I could put uh, another, uh, I can go back to y equals and see my equations here and I can put another guy here. So let's say I wanted to graph x squared right on top of that. 